Hail brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield, or should I say Wargasm, and welcome back to Star Trek Online Klingon. We are carrying on with the illustrious battles of the IKS Bloodfart and her Captain Lieutenant Wargasm. Captain Lieutenant, whatever. Um, I wanted to continue on with, fucking hell, I've got to fly all the way over there in this dinky little thing. My engines are going to be awful. What are my engines capable of? Well, 5.6, Jesus. I'm going to be traveling for a while. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to start doing like the Klingon story as kind of a proper Let's Play. I want to really explore it because I never really got the opportunity to do it uh, last time I was playing the game. And I'm going to get rid of the chat. I don't need to see that. Uh, so, yeah. We're having Star Trek Online or STO Kling. Oh God, we've got a bit of rubber banding going on there. Could you not, please? Well, you didn't. Um, so yeah, this is going to be its own series, and for the most part, I'm probably going to be playing solo. We will eventually, no doubt, end up with some people joining me. But I think for the most part, I really want to have a look at the story. I want to like explore the actual kind of continuity of things and seeing how the Klingon story progresses and what it actually entails. So it should be good fun. I think it's going to be good fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I want to get myself a, a re fucking kick-ass Klingon ship. Because as much... I do love the Bird of Prey. It's always been one of my favourite Klingon vessels. It just looks so cool. But it's not going to last as long. We've got... We're at level 6 right now. We've got 4 levels until we hit level 10 and we get a new ship. So... Fingers crossed, that might be the target for this video. We'll just see how things go and how things, how quickly things progress. Oh, good God, we're finally here! <laughs> this has taken ages. Oh, God, right, yeah, let's begin this mission. Manhunt. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing for this mission. Probably should have checked. Hunting men. I guess. Not like that. Perverts. Ooh, here we are. This is Warden Katak of the Rura Pente Penal Colony. Hello. Do not have authorization to land. Turn back now. Any attempt to violate our security perimeter will be met with force. I'm Klingon, you fool. You dare to speak to representatives of the High Council this way? This is Kagan, officer of the IKS Bloodfart, and we will do as we wish. Ijan. Or Ijen. We have an opportunity to try and mispronounce a lot of Klingon phrases and sayings and My words. Well, we seek a Federation fugitive. Well, I guess that's true. You would do well to check your security logs. We have tracked the Federation's spy to this system. He is here, hiding like a nuch under your nose. Our security logs are checked every quarter hour as per regulation. There that is some tight no security. In or out of the colony within the last day. Only two ships have entered the system today. Yours at the Klingon shuttle. Shuttle left the system hours ago. You are still here. So what, you're accusing me now? You incompetent Toba. The fugitive has deceived you. There are still prisoners in the prison, I hope. Or have they all walked away while you weren't looking? Our logs clearly indicate the shuttle left the system hours ago. There have been no transfers. All prisoners in this colony are either accounted for or dead. Cold like Rura Penthe? I think you're mistaken with beaming down. Yeah, let's go. Kagan, you're coming with me. I trust you. Don't shoot me in the back. Bruh. Lord, where do you think you're going? I have business with the warden. Shut up, you forehead. You have crossed the magnetic field, but your visit is unannounced, and you will follow protocol. No one simply wanders around this prison. 
I will escort you to the forest. Lead on, guard. Come on then. Oh, so cold. So cold down here. This is this is worthy of some winter wear. Is it is there a tailor's here? Might I be able to procure some uh, procure some clothing? Visitors are here. Hello. Your presence here is unnecessary. The only Federation citizens on Rura Pint are frozen into the ice. But don't let me dissuade you from your manhunt. Order the guards to search. My guards will stay where they are. There was a breach, it would have tripped the alarm. All right, blah, blah, blah. I will find him myself. Jesus. Guards are going to stay at their posts. Don't you point your gun at me. You cheeky little shit. Uh, allow me in. Allow me entry. Bloop, bloop. Good. We are in. Gagan, fucking get in here. Let's get my gun out. There's loads of people here. Loads of people here, and they're not going to be happy with me being in here. Where's the human? Find your own hiding. I'm not trying to find a hiding place. I'm trying to find a human. Could you point me in the direction of a human? If there is one here, I wish to know. You've never met a human. You should get out more. Where's the human? I'm bothering you because I have questions. That is why I am bothering. Fucking, there's no wonder you people are in here. Good God, you're a tall bugger, aren't you? I like the ears. <laughs> Hey, buddy, have you seen any humans? I can't get through here. Okay. I guess I'll keep poking around in here, then. See if I can find anything. Any anomalies? There are two. Okay. Well, I shall have to find those. I want all of the stuff. Hello, little person. I hope it's not too cold in here for you. Actually, you know what? You, you probably deserve to be here. I hope it's cold for you. Hello. Why are you following me? None of these prisoners will help you. They can sense danger far better than you can. And they know the risks of getting involved in a fight that's not theirs. Okay, why is a Klingon officer in here? Are you a prisoner? Or are you Franklin Drake in disguise? Because I'm not a Batak like the Warden and his cousin Rodek. Have you asked yourself, why would a human come to Ura Pinfe? I don't know, maybe you got a really shit package holiday thing. I this is my best guess. The human is here to extract a prisoner. Oh. There are no other alternatives. I guess. If he was coming to kill someone, then he's a cock. No, no need for that word. Everyone sent to this hole dies. Most are dead within a year. You seem well informed for a prisoner. Are you questioning my honor? If you think you're safe because you hold a weapon, you're mistaken. The only thing standing between you and a cold grave is my patience. Bold words for a prisoner. Someday I'll teach you a lesson for testing my resolve. The human is here, but it is a complicated situation. You must do exactly as I say. We yeah, all right. What do I need to do? The crime I've committed was thinking there could be peace between the great houses. How could you? Right. The worm is over by the mine entrance. Right. Is, it, is that you? Drake! There you are. I was wondering if I'd lost you. You dickbag. Don't try to play coy with us. What are you after? I see you found a new friend. Look, if I had the time to explain, I would. But I'm on a tight schedule. And you took your time getting here. If you want to know what's really going on, you'll have to ask your new friend. I need to be going. What? Whoa! Okay. Fuck. Oh god, everybody's after me. <laughs> no, je Jesus. <laughs> uh, all of you, calm the fuck down. All right, let's let's uh, put all these guys to rest, and we shall move on and do other things. I'm not going to pass up the chance to shoot the shit. Get out of the warden's office! This is not a place for you! A place for Klingons only. I can take the Mastiff? Come with me, buddy. We're going on adventures. 
Uh, there are people up this way. There are. Get to the computer! No, you're not doing that. Sit down, everyone. I am here for, for crowd control. The crowd is not very controlled, and I need to help them. Oh dear, Mastiff disappeared. Did it die, or did it just get beamed into space? There's one or the other. Oh, hello, fellas. Bye. Ooh, we got armed prisoners. Let's get you. You sod off. Lie down and and don't move. Just play dead. It's going to be better for you, trust me. Right, I think that's it for the uh, unarmed prisoners. I've got that to 100% anyway, so... I must just need to move on and find all of the armed ones. So, Kagan, come on, yeah, run through the fire. Let's let's go and get on with the rest of this. You, you're you a prisoner. Yep. Okay. Get down. Get down. Sir! Stop. I've got this thing set on stun, haven't I? Oh, no. It's set on mortally disrupt everything inside their systems. That's why it's called a disruptor. Whoa. Why are you throwing grenades? Stop it. A little bit of overkill, don't you think? Oh, I found a thing. Give me, give me this. Ooh, tough prisoner, are you? You think you're a tough prisoner? Well, I think not. You, you, you're just bog standard prisoner. Fucking sit down. Uh, kabloosh! Not so tough now, are you? No. You know what, Kagan? I'm glad that there was a riot. It's kept us nice and warm in this freezing cold weather. Is that? Yeah. Oh no. Wait, that's uh. Kumtar. What do you want? Worm has slithered to the surface. Ugh. We need to stop him before he can reach the edge of the magnetic shield. I promise that I'll explain everything once we track him down. Alright. Are you gonna betray me? I feel like you're gonna betray me. This has got Star Trek 6 written all over it. Oh god, it's cold and drafty. No thanks. The human is trying to cross the ice. We need to hurry before he gets outside the magnetic shield. He has a shuttle. In that case, we don't have any time to waste. It will be difficult to track his movements in this flurry. Well, let's get the jackal to do it. Go after him. We'll follow you. Come on, dude. Come on, little buddy. Show the way. Ooh. Some blips on my radar. Ah, oh, small jackals. How about you guys stop? I said stop, please. Thanks, Kagan. Just what I needed. Right. Impatient whining. <laughs> Look, I'm here. All right. Come on. Uh, we've got more jackal mastiffs. Hello. Alert bark. Yes. Best, best character dialogue ever. Alert bark. The two of them are b busy talking about war and peace and Chancellor Gorkon. I told you I had episode six. Oh, Episode 6? Star Trek 6 written all over it. I think we might be coming across him. Oh, yeah, there's a little, uh, little time ship shuttle. Drake, I am here to talk to you and to stop you. Impressive. Your determination is commendable. Well, thanks. You can't escape, though. There's more at stake here than dealing with a lone human on a mission of mercy. In fact, our intelligence says you have very little time left to act. What do you mean? Our friend here discovered that one of the great houses is plotting against the Empire. He's correct, but his curiosity cost him. Now you and Alexander, I'm sorry, Kim Tar, will both have a chance for glory. Alexander. Kim Tar, your father still has friends in the Federation. They believe he's in great danger. I recommend a trip to the Vor system. There you'll find out just how big of a mess you're in, and find the proof that Warp will want. How do you know this human, Kumtar? I don't. He and I have never met, but as I told you, the story is complicated. What you need to know is that he speaks the truth. There is a plot against the Empire, and it is not the Federation's doing. Our true enemies are closer than we realize. If we want to protect our people, we must go to the Vor system and see what is there. Why should I trust either of you? I don't care if you trust me. Kimtar, tell your father that obligations have been met. Only you can decide how you'll deal with the greater threat. 
What is that? The only threat you should be worried about is me. Rodak, you dick. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I've got to confront you. So, Kumtar, Kumtar is Alexander, Worf's son. I completely forgot that. You're a <laughs> miserable canoot. Not only have you broken penal colony protocol, but you meddled in the affairs of the House of Torg. I don't care if Kumtar is innocent. We were paid a great deal of platinum to keep this piece of box art locked up. He's not leaving here, and neither are you. You are a corrupt Forshak. Whatever one of those is. Uh, Fucking blast him with all the guns. Uh, I might smack him about a bit as well. Bosh! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, good. Oh. He's off. Bye. If Rodak could find us, we can expect if more guards soon. If talk, Rodak could catch up to us. Then the Warden and his men will soon find us as well. You must have a ship in orbit. We should beam up as soon as possible and discuss what has happened. Yeah, good point. Blood fart, do you read me? Uh, we're ready for transport. Beam is up. Right, okay. We need to get... We'll bring the ship down to the surface to pick you up. Excellent idea. Make it quick. We might need more warriors. We head for higher ground. It will be... Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Yeah, I know. I don't need prompts telling me where I need to go and what to do. Presumably, I'm going to have to make a stand on top of a hill. A cloaked and approaching my location. Fantastic. I think I hear you. Uh, Warden and his guards. Hello. Can you just fire a torpedo at them? You dishonorable dog! When the High Council hears what Jempot's representatives have done here today, they will order your immediate execution! And how much will you pay to hold an innocent man? Enough to keep us warm long after your death. We get paid whether Kemtar lives or dies. So, before I kill you, I'll offer you the coward's choice of surrender. I think you're forgetting something. What am I forgetting, Chosa? My shit star my starship. Chagrin now. <laughs> yes. Torpedo fire. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love the Klingon way of doing things. Hello, hello, Jackal. Are you coming with me? Are you going to be my new pet? Well done, Chagrin. Pick us up. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we got that one all done. We get experience. We do actually get the Mastiff. Awesome. Oh, that's going to be fun to have. Personal shields and a Harpeng torpedo. Nice. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ambassador Worf. Uh, okay. Can I have another mission, please? Oh, so During my oh, time there we are. as Ambassador, I uncovered evidence that one of the great houses has been corrupted by a foreign influence and is plotting against the Empire. I was thrown into Urapenthe as punishment for digging too close to the truth. Okay, we're going one system over. Not going too far. We've got to go to the Vor system. One of the great houses has been uh, getting meddled with by an outside influence. Hopefully we're going to find some answers in this system. Or at the very least, it'll, it'll set us on the course for where we can find answers. It'll be a fun adventure. Pew. Greetings to the Vor system. We've entered the Vor system. There's a starbase in orbit dead ahead. Records li records listed as a research facility operate by, operated by Iridian scientists. That's unusual. The Iridians are not known for their scientific prowess, but the research station is listed as a protected asset. According to your ship's computer, the Iridians have a trade agreement with a human scientist named Amar Singh. He is working with someone in the Empire on a genetic research project. It's unclear what Drake expected us to find here. Last time you guys fooled around with genetic research projects, you lost all of your ridges and weren't very happy for a very long time. I don't know if I'd advise doing that. Alright, let's approach the station. Let's see what's going on. Amar Singh. Amar Singh. Oh, he's someone that I dealt with in... The Federation story. The Federation campaign. 
I'm pretty sure of it. He was like augmenting Gorn or something. Yeah, he was playing around with the old augment, augment uh, experiments. Contact the this station. Is research facility, Lodner Beta 3. I am Plardos Yardin, commander of the station. With whom am I speaking? Plardos Yardin. Your name sounds straight out of Rick and Morty or something. That's fucking brilliant. I am Lieutenant Wargasm of the IKS Bloodfart. Um, we weren't informed there would be visitors today. How may we serve the Empire? We're here to inspect your station. Commander Plardos. Yeah, all right, okay. Can, can we can we get on with things? Target a point near the state. Oh, right, fire a warning shot. Uh, pew! And pew pew for good measure. Oh! You call that a warning shot? Send over the information we requested. You are completely mad. This is a top security installation. You don't have authorization to access our records. We're filing a formal complaint. Well, you're hiding something. Of course we're hiding something. We're conducting classified research. That's a good so point. why you are not authorized to access station records. You understand the concept of top secret, don't you? You dare to insult my authority! This is preposterous! We refuse to hand over top secret information without proper authorization. We will defend ourselves, if necessary. If necessary? You stink of guilt! Let me just, let me just fire all my weapons and all of your stuff. Uh, I don't really care about actually moving as well, I'm just gonna stand here on the spot and, you know. It's doing a little bit of damage to my hull, it's fine. I'll survive. Just like that. Is that all of them? Ooh. Oh no, there's more. Oh, they got shuttles! Oh, ain't that cute! <laughs> you go, you're throwing shuttles at me. That's just adorable. <laughs> Try again next time, mate. Oh, honestly. <laughs> oh, you dozy sods. Ship on approach. Ooh. What are you? What are you bringing in? Romulan Warbird. Okay. What do you got going on? What, what's your deal? We received a distress call from this station. We are here to provide assistance. Your assistance is no longer needed. Station Commander Plados sounded distressed. He mentioned a disagreement with a Klingon vessel. It would be dishonorable of us not to investigate. Well, this is an internal matter. We appreciate the delicate nature of the situation. Uh, would you mind if we spoke with the station? Perhaps we could resolve any misunderstanding. Yeah, I'm totally gonna believe you, but go ahead. I find this very suspicious. Why would Romulans respond to a distress call here? Because they probably paid for all of the bloody experiments, didn't they? Okay, they're not raised shields. I don't need to remind you that we're in Klingon territory. The fact that these Romulans are here at all could be the clue we need. Drake said we need to find evidence, not clues. Oh, they've transported several crates of goods to the Romulans. That's our evidence. Hail the Romulans. Commander Plados has explained the situation. It sounds as if there's been a miscommunication. You're a Romulan. You lie every time you draw breath. Foolish bravado of the Klingon Empire, attacking your own station and then accusing us of wrongdoing. I should have expected something like this. Very well. We'll communicate in terms you can understand. Ray shields! 
Fucking going for it. Well, that's an engineering team. I thought that was a boarding party or something, but never mind. Okay, fine, fire, bang, foul, fuck, fuck. Hold him in the tractor beam. Oh, that's a big barrage of weapons fire, isn't it? How's this, though? Try this one on for size, you gits. Oh, and he's exploded. More Romulans dropping out of warp. Oh, dear. Oh, great. Fucking Dederex. I've got a Romulan Republic warbird helping. Oh, God. That one was aimed at me. No thanks. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back away a little bit. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Go for it, mate. Give them what for and all that. Uh, heavy plasma torpedo. No, fuck. Ow. Come on. Come on. Off you go. Off your fuck. Off your fuck. You're nearly dead. I'll get a torpedo in. That should finish the job. Oh, kaboom. Yes. <laughs> Ow. Wow. Nice explosion. Thank you. Oh, good. We had tracked the Tall Shiar to this system, but we would have been outmatched without your aid. And of course it was the Tal Shiar. You fought well for a Romulan. The Romulan Republic faces many challenges, but conflict with the Klingon Empire should not be one of them. As a gesture of good faith, I'll share with you information that you might find to be of value. Okay. We believe Tall Shiar agents are collaborating with operatives in the Klingon Empire to steal weaponry and technology. We have uncovered large supplies of Klingon weapons on the planet Nimbus 3 that we believe are being stockpiled there by agents of the Empress. The stolen goods are being transferred through several facilities in the local sector, including this science station. Do you have proof of this? The shipping manifests on the supply crates and the weapons themselves. Okay. By tracking the flow of goods, we've learned that there are agents in the Klingon Empire transferring stolen supplies to the Tal Shiar. Those supplies are being stockpiled on Nimbus 3. If you will help track down the source of those weapons, we will share our data with you. Okay, we'll send us the data, but we will make no promises. Transferring the data now. We expect the Klingon Empire to track down the source of these stolen goods and punish those responsible before more weapons fall into the wrong hands. If we discover any further information, we will notify the Empire's ambassador on Mol Rihan. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Get me fucking Plodos on the line now! Please listen to me. We were only following protocol. We must ensure that our research doesn't fall into the wrong hands. So you were trading and dealing with the Tal Shiar? They probably have all of your research already. We, we didn't know the shipments we were transferring were stolen. I was told that the crates were medical supplies needed on the war front. We didn't ask questions. Please, show mercy. We were only doing what we were ordered to do. And do as you're told and sell me, send me the data I want. Due to present circumstances, we will forego normal security authorization and provide the files you have requested. We live to serve the Empire. Get on with it. Okay, good, we can go. Your officers have analyzed the shipping logs from the research facility. Their findings confirm what the Romulan Republic officer told us. Someone has been routing technology and weapons to the Tal Shiar. They are going to great lengths to cover their tracks. Do you believe a great house is involved? An operation of this magnitude would require the resources of one of the houses. But the shipments are being routed in such a way to conceal their point of origin. Our evidence is circumstantial. It was my eagerness to point fingers without proof that landed me in Urapenthe in the first place. We must exercise patience. And wait for our prey to reveal themselves. Okay, well, Drake mentioned your father. My father is Ambassador Worf. He has many friends and many enemies. I tried to convince him that one of the houses was moving in the shadows against us. He either didn't believe me or didn't care. Either way, he made his decision when he refused to act after I was sent to Urapinthe. 
His pride is a weakness our enemy will try to exploit. Well, I will see if I can persuade we can him to try, listen. But we must be prepared if he doesn't. We should at least warn him of the danger, even if he refuses to see the knife at his throat. No worry, we'll be there if they strike. Be fine. Don't worry about it. We're gonna go first city. Okay. Um. Ooh, don't know what happened there. Um. Don't even know where I am now. Well, I've been moved around. I feel like I have been. How the fuck did I end up all the way up here? I was there. How would I... How, I don't fucking know. But I need to go to Konos so I can just try and walk. Oh, golf. Apparently I had already gone, but I went again. Well, we are back on Konos. I gotta remember where Worf is. Oh, he's there. Well, that's convenient. I'm glad you were just standing around. You got all the ladies around you. How may I assist you, you old charmer. Fight with honor. Sir, do you have a moment? Perhaps. First, tell me who you are. I am Lieutenant Wargasm of the IKS Bloodfart. Greetings. How may I assist you? We need to speak privately. That is an odd request. We stand in the courtyard of the Great Hall, and honor has no need of secrecy. If you cannot speak your mind in this place, then I have no desire to hear what you have to say. Oh, very well, I am here with your son, Kumtar. That is not my son's name. If Kemtar wishes to talk, tell him to come and speak to me. I will not communicate through intermediaries. He said you are both in great danger. He is the only one in danger. Unless you have been foolish enough to listen to his tales. But you have already made that mistake. If you have spoken to him, then you have been to Rura Penthe. Yes, I have, but a great house is plotting your death. I am Gintok to the house of Martar. Lady Sorella has declared vengeance on the house of Jimpok. It would not surprise me if all the great houses wish me dead. Tell my son that I am capable of defending myself. Uh, Wolf, I'm not doubting that, but the Romulans are involved. Romulans? That does not make sense. No, it doesn't, but it... Jimpok's yeah. position towards the Federation and the Tal Shiar is very clear. And in this, he has my house's full support. It would be foolish for any house to make such a connection. However... I would not be surprised to hear you mention the house of Duras. Yeah, they're probably still going somehow, aren't they? But we don't know if they're involved. And that is exactly the sort of accusation that landed my son in a penal colony. Tell Kemtar that unless he has proof, he should stay silent. If he is a fugitive from Rura Pente, he will only make his situation worse. I do not want to know any more about what you two are plotting. Okay, well, bye then. Uh, Kumtar. Has Worf agreed to speak to us? He said that your name's not Kumtar. What name I use is not important. Did you tell him what we've learned? Uh, he's not concerned. Did you tell him the Romulans are involved? Yes, but he didn't believe me on that, and he mentioned Duras. Given their history, I've considered the possibility that the House of Duras might be involved. Is he at least willing to review our evidence? No, he wants nothing to do with it. Well, we should at least warn the House of Martok. Agreed. If the Jin talk to House Martok will not listen, we will take our concerns to the house itself. Martok's son Drex is off world. I will contact Lady Sorella and arrange a meeting. Okay, don't be discouraged. Oh, I think we're done with this. You must meet with Lady Sorella from the House of Martok. She must be warned. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to do it. So is Lady Sorella here on the planet? Is she here on Konos? Or is she somewhere else? I have no prompts. I need to know what I need to do. I think I'm not a high enough level. That's probably part of the problem. Okay, I'm going to beam up and maybe go and do a patrol mission or something. I've got to be level 8 for doing this next one. Okay, I don't seem to be able to do any of these uh, like kind of patrol missions or anything. Um, what missions have I got available? Not much. Welcoming to the f welcoming the Federation. Okay, that's a tutorial thing. 
Next Generation 30th Anniversary. Worf is here to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Star Trek The Next Generation. Which, yes, first aired in September of 1987. Here I was born, and The Next Generation is 30 years old. Good God. Find him in a holodeck on Starfleet, on, on Starfleet called Klingon Academy and see what he has to say. Gets me some experience. Is that going to be enough to push me to level 8? Not quite, but... You know what? That could be that could be a fun thing to do to just wrap this episode up because I think uh, I've got to cool down on that as well. Okay, I'll just fly back to Konos. Yeah, I'm I'm approaching my hour, so I think I'm going to have to wrap this up. But I think this would be a nice, neat little way to just kind of wrap this episode up. Things I think this is going out Saturday, which is going to be the last day of September. So kind of just in time to celebrate the month that Next Generation came out on TV. Ha! Huh, nice! It's old school Series 1 uniform as well. Program active. I do not like being a hologram. Do you have something for me? Congratulations. In honor of Star Trek The Next Generation's 30th anniversary, you have been awarded Worf's Sash and the title The Next Generation. Certain species will also have access to Worf's hairstyle for male characters. Thank you for playing Star Trek Online. Oh, that's awesome! That's just like a nice little... Nice little touch. Oh, I really like that. I was expecting like some sort of like little cutscene. Or something. But I really like that. That is really cool. Yeah, if I can find a tailor, I can equip Worf's, uh, Worf's sash. I wonder if I can get like the... the, the the nice looking one because the one that he had in the early series it, it looked a bit naff but I liked it when it became like all kind of like buckled and metal and all that sort of stuff costume tailor I don't know where to find it it's not something I have in my inventory is it no where do I find this thing I want to wear the sash hmm I don't know. I don't know why I can't find that. Oh well. I'm sure I'll try and find it in like off camera, and I'll try and figure out where how to go about wearing it. Um, but I think unless is there anything on uh, on here that I can use. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Right. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I just say thank you all so much for watching. We will get round to playing some more of this and actually pushing forward um, with getting new ships and all that good stuff. So I'll wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, be sure to hit that subscribe button or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Mitchell, signing off. Like set design and all that sort of stuff. Uh, which of you is the real Boris? There's a tiny one on the floor, it must be you. Tiny Boris, how are you doing? Can I pick you up? I want to take you with me.